This episode of What's the Apps is brought to you by Jack Threads. Well, hello there, it's John Q here from Techno Buffalo, and how are you fine folks doing? Looking good? Swell. Welcome to What's the Apps, and in the last episode, a YouTuber by the name of NotYetNamed89, very clever, asked me if I can check out Fourscore for the iPad. Beautiful, exactly the question that I was looking for. So, NotYetNamed and all you fine folks out there, this is my review for Fourscore. Okay, I had no idea what four score was, so I had to look it up when you mentioned it. Turns out it's a score reading application. Score as in music score, not sports score. I thought it was sports score. No, it's music, man. Bam. I haven't played music in a long time. I was really into guitar back in the day, but I was on the tablature system instead of the standard notation system, aka I was on the not so theoretical self-taught, I prefer seeing numbers versus dots with flags sticking out of them system. But I did understand music theory, so yeah. Four scores basically your all-in-one score library and reader with built-in tools like a metronome. Think of it like a Kindle, but for music. When you first open the application, you're prompted by Fourscore to ask if you want to download their sample library. I'd recommend doing this as playing around with these sample scores can help you get used to the application, and you get great pieces by composers like Beethoven, Mozart, Bach, like this Das Wolter Lein Klavier 1-5 prelude. Wow, there's like 22 of these guys. Before we get to the features of this application, let's just see how well it works. Let's pretend I'm jamming away and I rapidly need to change the page. A single swipe or even a gentle tap would do it. I bet this beats having to scramble through bushels of paper. That alone, okay, plus the fact that you can store a bunch of scores on your iPad makes this app worth it already. Need to jump around? No problem, the slider on the bottom will help you quickly navigate to whatever page you want. Look at them notes with their stems, clefts, sharps, and flats, and time signatures and whatnot. Amazing! And vividly clear! You can also add text notes, highlights, and doodles, not to mention rearrange and crop your scores and much, much more. Let's take a look at the metronome. This thing is pretty neat. You can set it for whatever speed you need it to be. Slow it down to practice the trickier pieces, or speed it up and play the song double time because you're a baller. The volume isn't bad, but it won't be as loud as your traditional metronome. You can also choose a visual metronome option, and the screen will flash. Or if you're fancy, you can enable both. Auto turn is pretty nifty, as it'll automatically turn the page for you after a set of bars or beats. The only thing is that you have to manually set the bars or beats in your score sheets in advance if you want it to work properly. Some counting might be involved, but totally worth it. Here comes the best part, loading your own scores. Fourscore opens PDFs and gives you several options. It has a built-in browser, which is used to download the initial Fourscore library. Unfortunately, it doesn't work too well as you can't, or at least I couldn't for the life of me, get the keyboard to pop up outside of the nav bar, which makes searching and navigation a no-go. You can also use Dropbox, which is handy, and open and save PDFs from emails, which is what I do, or this special dark room feature that allows you to use images from your gallery or take a picture from your camera. Great in situations where you need to take a quick snapshot of real life sheet music or if you just want to look at cute pictures of pandas. Speaking of pandas, I'm gonna take some time to thank our friends at Jack Threads. Only suckers pay full price. If you love alternative apparel brands like Kids Robot, Hurley, and Stussy and, and hate wasting all of your cash, listen up. Okay. There's a new invite-only shopping club just for guys called Jack Threads, serving up street, skate, and surfwear brands at prices that will melt your brain. There's a wait list, but if you head on down to jackthreads.com slash techno, that's jackthreads.com slash t-e-c-h-n-o, you'll get instant access to all of the killer hookups. Go right now. It's just some background music. Anywho, back to Fourscore. Because this application opens PDFs, if you're a tab person like myself, you will be able to open your tabs with Fourscore. I exported this guy from a computer app called Guitar Pro. Highly recommend it, I've been using it for years. By the way, I haven't actually played guitar in years, so I was just kind of pretending here. Overall, for what it does, Fourscore is pretty amazing and totally worth the five bucks, which is why I give it a 4.5 out of five. The only thing I think it needs to work on would be the built-in browser. I couldn't figure out how to get the keyboard to pop up, which would help to search and download scores. Well, not yet named, I hope this helps, and if you want to pick up an iPad just for Fourscore, maybe check out Craigslist or eBay or something, you know, pick it, pick it up cheap. And uh, for everyone else out there, if you have any applications that you would like me to check out, let me know by commenting. Thank you very much for tuning in. This was John Q from Techno Buffalo. I think I did a double blink just there. I don't know why. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Latest.
And by the way, thank you very much for all of the constructive criticism from the last episode. I myself, I'm not a really heavy Android user, so I don't really fidget with all the things and all that kind of stuff, but I'm trying, all right? So yeah, constructive criticism, always welcome. A lot better than saying you suck and things of that nature about 75 times. It doesn't really help. So yeah, thanks guys.